America. Initially, President Trump had said that the summit could last for several days if necessary. But now the White House plan is for President Trump to head home in less than 24 hours. As he looks to strike his biggest deal yet, President Trump sounding upbeat. Today, signs that they may already be working out. The White House saying pre-talks between negotiators are moving, quote, more quickly than expected. Encouraging, but Secretary of State Mike Pompeo cautioning. There are only two people that can make decisions of this magnitude, and those two people are going to be sitting in a room together tomorrow. For the first face-to-face, -face, no team or advisors in the room, just President Trump and Kim along with their translators. This is where that face-to-face -face is going to take place. In fact, right over here, just beyond these trees, just beyond this entrance. The night before, two very different approaches. President Trump out of sight. <laughs> Kim Jong-un out on the town. The isolated leader taking advantage of his time away from home, touring Singapore, even posing for a selfie. An unconventional lead-up to an unconventional summit and a sharp about face from last September. Rocket Man is on a suicide mission for himself. President Trump's team saying Tuesday's summit, a good start, but the only true win? The complete, verifiable, and irreversible denuclearization. A process that experts say, even if started, will take years. And we're expecting to hear directly from President Trump after that summit. He's set to give a media briefing in the afternoon before heading home. In Singapore, I'm Blaine Alexander, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. And NBC News will have complete coverage of the summit. Nightly News anchor Lester Holt is live tonight from Singapore. Please look for his reports here on Channel 13 starting at 6.30 tonight.